Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Really happy to see Before you. The class. Ready. Excellent. That's the attitude. Happy to hear that. Yes. Okay. Let's do this. I'm going to share the screen with you now. Just give me a second. Getting everything ready. Happy Monday, by the way. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, screen's being shared now. And now I need to have the attendance list. Just give me a second. It's loading. Okay. All right. When you hear your name, please let me know. Alejandro Jose Quintanilla Ayala. Present teacher. Welcome. Ana Filomena Mendoza. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Ana Yandira Mendoza Godoy. Ana Yandira Mendoza Godoy. Andrea Michelle Garcia Selva. Andrea Michelle Garcia Selva. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Hello, Byron. Okay, uh, Cesar Alexander Ramirez Ramirez. Cesar Alexander Ramirez Ramirez. Debbie Natalia Segura Ramos. Present, sir. Welcome, Debbie. Uh, Daisy Carolina Rodriguez Mejia. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. Javier Ernesto Lucero Escobar. Javier Ernesto Lucero Escobar. Present teacher. Welcome. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortés. Present teacher. Welcome. José Arturo Ramírez Bernal. Present. Good evening. Welcome. José Raidín Enríquez. Present, teacher. Welcome. Madeline Dayana Cerón de Paz. Present. Good evening. Welcome. Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Present, teacher. Welcome. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Noemí Alicia Estrada Palacios. I'm here, teacher. Present. Welcome. Reina Isabel Romero Ventura. Reina Isabel Romero Ventura. Can you hear me? I can. Yes, I can now. Okay. Welcome. Ricardo Ernesto Ramírez Quijano. Ricardo Ernesto Ramírez Quijano. Rufino Amilcar Hernández Linares. Present teacher. Welcome. Janet Yanira Rodríguez Andrés. Present teacher. Welcome. Okay. Everybody. Be welcome. I'm going to call some of the names again. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. Welcome. Andrea Michelle Garcia Selva. Good evening, present. Hello, Andrea. Cesar Alexander Ramirez Ramirez. Present, teacher. I am here. Welcome. 
Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Present. Welcome. Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez. Ricardo Ernesto Ramírez Quijano. Ricardo Ernesto Ramírez Quijano. Okay. We have some chat entries here. Cesar says present. Gabriela Sequeira says present. And Madeline Dayana says present too. Okay. Madeline, here you are. All right. Uh, Madeline is requesting assistance with exercise 3.5. Okay, don't worry. Anyway, we're going to solve uh, all the exercises from section number three this week. So don't worry about it. Okay, we're going to do it. Everything is covered. Okay, everybody, welcome. This is Advanced English 2, and that's me, Ivan Doñang, at your service. Once again, happy to be here. This is session number nine, and today's October the 9th of 2023. Okay, so here we go. Easy topics tonight. Take a good look. What are we going to do? We're going to go over the starting point. As you can see it, here's the information age, okay, which pretty much covers section number three of uh, the material, or let's say in this case, uh, the platform, okay? Speaking of the platform, okay, uh, I have been informed that not everybody's working on the platform. So please make sure you do all the exercises in the platform. There are some things that we have to do. Okay. Watch the whole videos. Okay, that's one thing. Please watch the whole videos. Do all the exercises. Okay. And if you haven't completed the midterm, please, please do so. Okay. So uh, everything should be complete up to section number two, I mean, section number one, section number two, and after that, the midterm, all that must be complete. Okay, so if if, if there's anything that you haven't done or completed, uh, I strongly advise to go over that. I mean, go back and complete that exercise homework or anything that you might have right there, um, just in case, okay? Because uh, I've been informed that, 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 that not everybody has completed all the sections, so please, 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 please. I strongly advise going back and and complete whatever it is that uh, might not be complete right now. So, just a second. Okay. All right. Going back to this, uh, you have the information age. A weird, weird, a weird wire word. Okay. So, internet trends. Look at these internet trends. Check the ones that affect you. Okay. So, what is a trend? A trend is a tendency. A fashion sometimes, okay? What is trendy is fashionable, okay? Uh, is, is popular, that's a trend. So these are the internet trends, the things that are fashionable, the things that are popular on the internet. So again, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see better. Uh, look at these internet trends, check the ones that affect you. Okay, we're gonna do some speaking right now. Um, take a good look. Now you have now, okay? I need a volunteer to help me read the first two, please. Hitting the trends, the first two trends now, and then we're going to read the ones for uh, the future. So who can help me read this, please? Madeline, thank you. Can you help me read the first two? An increasing number of degrees are being offered online. Okay, so yeah, an increasing number of degrees, that means university studies are being offered online. Okay, yeah, that's one, okay? So um, is anybody here studying anything over the internet? I mean, not just the English class, of course, I'm talking about uh, any form of uh, university studies or, you know, or graduate studies, anything like that. Is, is anybody uh, in this class using the internet for that? Anyone? Debbie. I'm studying my bachelor degree. With a specialty in English. <laughs> okay, you're studying your bachelor's degree. It's it's all online. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good. Interesting. Uh, Jose Arturo. 
Um, well, um, I am study um, uh, design publicitary. Okay. Okay, uh, publicity and design. Okay, kind yeah. of like, okay, advertisement and design. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, really, really good. So great, okay, so you can see it here, an increasing number of degrees are being offered online. That's good, because nowadays you can study from your house and uh, some people can opt to study master's degrees, study master's degrees and other stuff, okay, which is which is very important, very convenient also. Okay, so the second one um, who was reading, I think it was Madeline who was reading, okay. Uh, can you help me read the second one, Madeline, too, please? Okay, job openings have been advertised on the internet for several years. Yes, job openings have been advertised on the internet for several years. So uh, the thing is, uh, in the past, okay, like many, many, many years ago, people used to see job advertisements mostly on, on the newspaper. Okay, if you were looking for a job, you have to look for the job in the newspaper. Not anymore. Okay, now you can see the the job openings online. Okay, there are several websites dedicated to this. You can see the job openings even in, in on, on social media. Okay, that's one. I mean, I have a job and I saw the job opening, the, the, the job description advertisement on social media. So that's how I got the job. So uh and and it's it's very useful, okay, because again, this is something that's been happening for for at least a couple decades now, and and, and it's great, okay, because you can see everything. Uh, now you have the internet on the palm of your hand, so convenient. Okay, really, really good. Thank you. I believe uh, Alejandro wanted to read too. Alejandro, you were raising your hand. Yes, teacher. Okay, can you help me read the next two, please? Increasingly, news is being broadcast live on the web. Increasingly, news is being broadcast live on the web. Okay, live. there's live. By the way, uh, let's, uh, pronunciation thing, okay, about that is uh, the whole thing depends on what you're doing. So, or what, what you want to say. So when you have this one, and this is the verb, okay, you pronounce it live because it's a verb. Okay, so um, it's live and, and all the forms are related to it, like lives, the third person singular for he, she, it, also lived, the past form and past participle, also living, okay, they're all pronounced with the same sound, the sound it, it. So you say live, lives, lived, living, etc. So it's just the verb. But when it is something else, when it's an adjective, an adverb, or a noun, okay, you pronounce it with the sound I. Like in this case, when you say, uh, life. adjective or adverb, you have, this is live, okay? There you go, which is the one that we have right here, broadcast live in vivo, right? Concert, live concert, okay? Also, when you have the noun, this one, by the way, this is a noun, life, life. The plural form of life is lives okay that's the plural so you have to be careful right here because it, it turns out that this word is spelled exactly the same as this word but they have two different pronunciations right when it is a verb you say live when it's the adjective or adverb form you say live similar to this right you have lives which you say he lives she lives it lives if it is the verb you pronounce it 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 but if it is the plural of life, then you say lives, lives. So uh, it can be a bit confusing sometimes, okay? But <laughs> it's good to know. So uh, here we go. Um, thank you, Alejandro. So increasingly news is being broadcast live on web, on the web. Okay, that's another one. Okay, in the past, we used to watch the news on TV only, but now you can see the news on the web, online, on your smartphone, and sometimes, it's live, okay? You don't even have to like uh, wait for them to record it and upload it. No, it's been, you know, broadcast as it is happening. Uh, Byron. Read the last, okay. More music has been downloaded this year than ever before. More ever music, before. 
Yeah, more music has been downloaded this year than ever before. I remember when I was a teenager that I had to use a cassette, okay, and put it in the machine. And I had to listen to the radio and be waiting for a good song to come out, okay, to start uh, playing so I could start recording the song. That was the good old days. Nowadays, now you don't do that. Okay, you can download music. You have to pay for that, by the way. Okay, if you don't pay, that's pri uh, piracy. You're not supposed to do it. Okay, uh, but the thing is, now you can download music and it's very easy and, and you don't even have to download it. In fact, th this information right here is a little bit dated, you know, because a lot of people nowadays don't download music anymore. People stream music which is different. I mean, now people have subscriptions to uh, Spotify and now all you need is a, is, a, is an internet connection and now you pretty much have access to almost any kind of music you want to hear, okay? As long as it is in their library, you can just listen to it for a price every month, of course. So um, that's how it is, okay? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't have that service, okay? I prefer to download music for some reason, mostly because I'm a bit kind of old school and and also because I don't like the idea of depending on an internet connection to listen to music. Sometimes you simply are out of reach. So that's it. More music has been downloaded this year than ever before. Before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary in the first column, the, the now column? Nadia? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Um, what is the meaning incre increasingly? increasingly? Increasingly, okay. Increasingly means that it's happening more and more and more and more and more. It's increasing. Increasingly, news is being broadcast live on the web. That means that it's becoming more and more common. It's happening more and more. Okay, like that's, that's getting bigger. Probably not be bigger there. because in this case, it's, it's not it's not about size. It's about oh, frequency. Okay. Uh -huh. So it's increasingly news is being broadcast live on the web. So it's it's becoming more common, and it's happening. It's happening often, then, no? Uh -huh. More often, okay. It's it's becoming much more common. That's that's the idea. Increasingly, the thing is that increasingly is the adverb form of the adjective, of the participial adjective increasing. Increasingly, okay, becomes the adverb. So, um, any other questions about the vocabulary in the first column? No questions. All right, then. What about this one in the future? Okay, we'll see how, <laughs> if, if any of this is, is, is um, well, can be said about the present time. So, Nadia, please, in the future. Um, first sentence is, in the future, more computer will be infected by a new, new generation of dangerous viruses. Yes, more computers will be infected by a new generation of dangerous viruses. Yeah, totally. Okay. In the future, in the present, I will say, right, new viruses are created every day. And you have to make sure that uh, uh, you don't get them on your computer, mostly because we live in the digital era now. And, uh, for example, you don't need to go to the bank to manage your money, for example. You can do it online. And, you know, these people, these hackers and uh, these uh, technology experts, okay, they sometimes can uh, send viruses into your computer and into your devices and they can pretty much steal your identity, basically steal your passwords, your, your, your accounts and all that stuff. So, yeah, more than ever, this is, this is a very dangerous situation and you have to be ready for it. There you go. Yanira Mendoza. <clears throat> okay. Uh, an even greater body of opinion will be post or video blogs. An even an even greater variety of opinions will be posted on video blogs. Yeah. An even greater variety. Repeat, please. Repeat, please. Variety. 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 Mm -hmm. Variety. An even greater variety of opinions will be posted on video blogs. You can see it. Now, uh, people use YouTube as a video blogging platform, pretty much, okay? And people, you know, they, they leave comments. They leave comments. Comments are everywhere, okay? 
now you can see videos not only on YouTube, right? You can see them on TikTok, okay? You know, the short videos, you can see them on Facebook, right? I mean, they're on Facebook, they're on Instagram, they're everywhere, pretty much, okay? So it's, it's, it's the thing, I mean, in the past it was pretty much just YouTube, but now videos are pretty much everywhere everywhere okay and, and people comment on those they they leave uh comments okay they they express their opinions on all of those um what about the next one who can help me read it please who can help me read it if you want to uh, me, read it, romero okay all right so uh miss romero all right Thank you. All right. Uh, more healthcare sites are going to be used by people from home. More healthcare sites are going to be used by people from home. Healthcare sites, okay? Sounds to me like people are not going to go to the doctor that often anymore. They're going to be consulting online, okay, what their symptoms are and everything. I understand there are apps that you can download into your phone that can be used like that. There is one I remember that is called Ada. I once used it several years ago. I used an app called Ada and that said like, okay, what are your symptoms? And you could like, you could start uh, typing in your symptoms and they started asking you a lot of questions. It takes a long time, several minutes, let me tell you, but they give you like an approximate of what you might have. Okay, of course, that will never be a replacement for a, for a doctor. So you should always go to a doctor, but but there are, you know, certain form of alternatives. Okay, so more healthcare sites are going to be used by people from home. Probably. I okay. know one too, teacher. You know one? Which one? Yeah, it's called Flow, but it's more like for women. Ah, yes. <laughs> I'm, yeah. familiar. I'm familiar. <laughs> I'm familiar. I'm familiar. I'm married. Yeah, you, so, yeah, you can pay like a membership and they have like this attention to women um, mm -hmm. 24-7. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I know. I'm familiar with it. <laughs> okay. So, well, thank you. Ana Filomena, how about the last one? Can you help me read it? Uh, the internet is going to be used even more to download movies. <laughs> yeah, totally. The internet is going to be used even more to download movies. Even, even though nowadays people don't really download movies all that much unless they do it illegally because now you have streaming services okay you, you got netflix there's a lot of movies there are a lot of movies on netflix uh there are also there, there's the amazon prime video and and hulu and disney plus and 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 like 10 more okay to choose from once you just pay a subscription to those you have access to pretty much anything you want to watch um but for those who don't like to pay, <laughs> there's still the internet where they can download movies. Usually people do it illegally, which is not recommended. Okay, so I, I don't do it, okay? Uh, but yeah, that happens, it's, it's the internet, okay? It's going to be used even more to download movies. So people do it, okay? Um, there it is. So uh, do you have any questions about the vocabulary from the second column? Any questions? No questions about the vocabulary? Okay then, all right. Now, uh, there is one thing that I want you to, know, to notice on say, yes, Alejandro. Teacher, I want to know what's the name of the, of the tense, of the, of the, um, almost the, la mayoría. Most of the most of sentences in the future, for example, more computers will be infected. The in, in the sentences, uh, there is the bear, the auxiliary bear will, mm -hmm. and there is the the main bear, but used in past tense. It's actually the past participle. Was possible. So, uh -huh. what what kind of tense is is this structure? <laughs> I was I was I was about to ask everybody exactly when you asked me first. Okay, all right, people, what is this? 
what are we seeing here? Okay, I, I was I, I zoomed out because I wanted everybody to see the whole uh, window. Uh, what structure is being used in every single sentence in both columns and now and in the future? What is that? We have studied it before also, by the way. So what, what structure is it that we are that they are using in the eight sentences here? Jose, I mean, the first one is present continuous. It is present an increasing continuous. an increasing number of degrees are being offered online. That is true, but that is the tense. That is the tense. It's just present continuous. But my question is. Uh, what is the general structure that is used in every sentence? They all have something in common. What is that? Subject plus uh -huh. auxiliar plus uh, verb plus complement. Well, uh, yeah, pretty much. Okay, but what is the name of the structure that is, is being used in every sentence here? Who can tell me? Present perfect continuous. There is the present perfect continuous. Um, let's see. There's, there's present perfect, present perfect continuous, the I number, guess. And the number one? Number one. An increasing number of degrees are being offered online. Well, no, that's actually present continuous, as, uh, as Jose I being pointed out. But... Okay, who, who can tell me? But it's not about tenses. It's not about if it is present continuous, if it is present perfect, or present perfect continuous, or the future, or whatever it is. It's not about that because it's not about tenses. It's about a very specific form, we can say, that is used in all the eight sentences here. What's that? Passive, active, or active, passive. Which one, is... which, which one is it? Is it active or passive? Passive voice. That's right. They're using the passive voice in every single sentence. An increasing number of degrees are being offered online. That's a passive voice. Number two, job openings have been advertised on the internet for several years. That's also the passive voice, right? Increasingly, news is being broadcast live on the web. That's also the passive voice. And, and it happens in sentence number four, five, six, seven, and eight. So it's it's the passive voice, exactly. And that's what Alejandro was uh, asking right now, just, well, just a moment ago. You have uh, uh, here in the future, more computers will be infected by a new generation of dangerous viruses. Remember that the passive voice basically has two key elements. What are the two key elements of the verb forms in the passive voice? One is the verb be, and the other one is the, the main verb in past participle. That's the idea. And if you notice, okay, in every sentence, you will find those two elements are being. That's the verb being present continuous, offered, past participle. Have been, that's the verb being present perfect, advertised, okay? That's the past participle. Is being, that's the verb be in present continuous, broadcast, that's a past participle. Has been, again, that's present perfect, the verb being present perfect. Downloaded, that's about the main verb in past participle. Will be, okay? That's the verb be using the modal auxiliary will. Will be. Infected, verb in past participle, will be the same the same situation. Okay, the verb be with the modal auxiliary will for the future, and after that posted the main verb in past participle. Are going to be okay again. This is the verb be using the structure going to for the future, and after that you have used past participle. Is going to be same story, right? Is the verb be using going to for the future, and after that the verb the main verb used in past participle. That's the idea right there, okay? So all the sentences are in passive voice, okay? So what are we going to do here? Okay, so uh, uh, lesson objective 3.0. In this class, participants will learn and practice using internet terms. Okay, so some vocabulary before we go into uh, the grammar. So what do you have? Technology passwords. So what are passwords? Passwords are important words normally used uh, as, as a, um, words that are supposed to sound impressive. Okay, those are passwords, usually used in advertisement, but also to describe certain technical aspects of, 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 of a field of study. 
those are best fits. So match the internet terms on the left with the definitions on the right. So there's the first one. Okay, if you want to participate, please raise your hand. There's download. Jan Janet, Janira. Uh, the number one is the letter C, transfer files to your computer. Transfer files to your computer, okay? That is correct. Yeah, that's the meaning of download. When you transfer files from their computer. Some people say like they download them, but in reality, they don't come from, from above. <laughs> they come from another computer, okay? You know what they say about the, the cloud service? You know, now the cloud is another thing that's 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 very fashionable these days. You have, you have something on the cloud. Like for example, uh, there's, uh, Google has a, a cloud service. Also, Microsoft has a cloud service. But I and once I, read... Yes, the you, iCloud you, service. I, iCloud service. Okay, yeah, that's another one. So, yeah, th there are a lot of cloud services. I once was... Somebody was, like, uh, drinking something on a, on a cup like this, and, and it had a message that I really liked, that it said, like, there is no cloud, they say. It doesn't exist. It's someone else's computer. And it's true. Okay? The cloud... In reality, it doesn't exist. Your files are in someone else's computer. That's the reality. It's a super big, uh, super computer that pretty much contains okay your files. So, <laughs> really, <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's what it is. I mean, the cloud is like not some magical cloud on the on the sky. You know, now it's, it's it's actually a server, meaning it's a computer, <laughs> just someone else's computer. It makes that's sense. Uh huh. It's I, I was computer. wondering how this actually works. Uh -huh. I have an idea. <laughs> yeah, totally. Okay, so um, uh, Nadia, about number two, chat room. What's that? I I have a do that about ah. chat room. Um, okay. Say is the letter E or letter letter A H. H, okay. So there's, uh, okay, letter E goes, short messages that are, that are faster than email. And uh, letter H is a website where people have discussions. Nowadays, they're called forums, okay? But in the past, chat rooms were like super popular. And we're talking, how long ago? 20 years ago, maybe. Okay, they were like super, super popular. So back when I was a teenager, that was a while ago. So, um, okay, so you're right. It's one of those two, but which one do you think it is? It's definitely one of those. It's either letter E or letter H, but there's only one correct answer. Which one is it? It's more H. H, that is... Correct. Yeah. H is the website where people have discussions. Okay. What about number three? Alejandro, hotspot. What is a hotspot? Letter F, teacher. Letter F. Can you read it? Yes. Yes, a place that has wireless internet access. That is correct. That's a hotspot. It's a place that has wireless internet access. Totally. Now, uh, this is, um, we can say, uh, it's a feature, okay, that, that pretty much every every uh, cell phone has. Every smartphone, okay, uh, you can turn on the Wi-Fi uh, hot, hotspot and you can pretty much give every, I mean, internet access to, to whoever has, you know, uh, a password, okay, to access the data that you have on your phone. So that's how it works. So yeah, that's a hotspot. Very useful, okay, when, for example, um, it's happened to me, by the way, uh, that, that, that on occasions uh, I have to teach a class and uh, there's a blackout, okay, all electricity goes out. There's no electricity, There's therefore there's no internet. So what do I have to do? Well, I have to work with my computer's, uh, you know, battery and I turn on the uh, internet uh, hotspot. Okay, and I work from that. I just go there. I mean, not recommended, okay, in the end because you have a limited amount of data that you can use on your phone, of course. But uh, for emergency situations, it's, it's actually pretty, pretty good. So, um, 
Thank you. What about number four? What's a blog? If you know the answer, please raise your hand. What's a blog? Nadia. Is a letter. Is a letter. G. Letter G. No. No. What? What is it? What is the important? You mean letter J? J. J. Okay. So letter J. Yes. Can you read it, please? An online journal of personal opinions. Yeah, that's that's what a blog is. It's an online journal of personal opinions. Okay. Do you read blogs or do you have a blog? Because that can also happen. Some people have blogs. Do you have a blog? Do you do you do you you know record your personal opinions on the blog or do you read blogs? Okay, because that can also happen. I have a blog with my best friend. You have a blog, so you write a blog. <laughs> you're you're breaking up a little bit. I, I couldn't hear very well what you said because you're breaking up a little bit. Can you can you can you repeat that, please? Sorry. It's okay. I think it is the eight and R. Can you mm -hmm. hear me? I can hear you now. It's okay. Ah, okay. Uh, I was saying like a joke that we have a, a blog with my best friend because we talk a lot. Ah. <laughs> you know, like okay. a blog. It's kind, of, it's, it's, it's kind of like a blog. Okay, so it's not public, it's private. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, does anybody read blogs? I, I remember in the past I used, it's not that, like I have a blog, but I used to, to, to write for a website, okay? And I wrote several articles right there. Okay, Jose Arturo, how about you? Uh, microphone, please. Okay. Um. Yeah. I. Um. I hardly ever read any blogs, but mm -hmm. for my um coworkers, they, they, they has wrote some some blogs. They have written some blogs. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it, it's cool. The only thing that I don't like about blogs is that blogs tend to be a bit too personal. And um, if things are like too personal and I cannot really relate to the other person, it's, it's a bit difficult for me to read them. It's, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm not really that interested. But if people write about different things that are like not, not that personal or they may be personal, but I can relate to, then I can, I can enjoy a good, you know, read from a blog. I mean, I've done it before. Okay, thank you uh, for your participation. What about number five? What's freeware? It's letter A. Letter A. Okay, it's software available for free. Okay, that's freeware. Do, do you know any examples of freeware? What's free? It's Linux. Linux, okay. Yeah, Linux is, is free. That's freeware. You don't need to pay for it. Okay, as far as I know. Okay, it's, it's, it's free. Um, there's like uh, Microsoft uh, Office is not free, right? You have to pay for it, but there are alternatives, okay, to Office. There is, uh, for example, Open Office, I believe. Okay, there, there's this. I don't know if it still exists, okay, because I heard about it a long time ago, but I've never really used it. But but I know that there are free alternatives to you know uh, the Office package, okay, and that's freeware. And there are some other programs. For example, there's one that I use that that, that is very useful. Uh, for uh, editing audio files, which is, I believe, it's called Audacity. Okay, Audacity is, is that's freeware. Okay, that's a very nice thing about it that you don't have to pay. You just go download it, and it's free. Okay, free to use. You can simply download it, use it, perfectly legal. Okay, that's something I like. <laughs> okay, so uh, do do you use any freeware, people, Byron? No, teacher. Not really. Okay, so you wanted to participate. No, Not really. Okay, you pay for everything. Okay, cool. That's nice. Mm -hmm. That's nice. And uh, number yeah. six. <laughs> number six. <laughs> webcam. Okay, webcam. It's letter I. A camera that sends live video over the internet. A camera that sends live video over the internet. Yeah. 
<laughs> kind of like the one everybody should be using right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's a, a a webcam is a device, pretty much. It's, it's it's a camera, right? That sends live video over the internet. That's what it is. Okay, I'm using one right now. Okay, so some of you are using one, <laughs> some others are not. Okay, so what about number seven? What's a podcast? What's what's a podcast? Mm -hmm. Who wants to participate? Please raise your hand. Jose. Is radio or TV shows for your empty MP3 player? For your MP3 letter player. Letter B. Mm -hmm, letter B. MP3 player, which no one really uses anymore because people don't use MP3 players anymore. So, yeah. Uh, we have smartphones. Okay. That's what we use. But, yeah, that's podcast it's a radio or tv shows for your mp3 player um the most common format i understand for podcast is just an audio file okay i guess there is like some sort of video format but i am not familiar with it okay i guess you can technically watch podcasts but like 99 percent of the times if i understand correctly you listen to them okay that's that's the whole idea behind the podcast uh, do you listen to podcasts, people? Does anybody listen to podcasts? Yes. Me. Yes, teacher. Okay, yeah, that's great. Do you listen to podcasts yes, in English, teacher. in English, or in Spanish, <laughs> or both? In English. In, in some people say in Spanish, some others say in English, some other people say both. Okay. Um, if if you're listening to podcasts in English, okay, that's that's some really good listening practice. If you are not, well, this is an invitation to start doing it. Uh, it's it's that will be really really good practice, okay, for your listening skills. Um, but if I have to be honest with you, I don't listen to podcasts. I I simply don't. Okay, it's. I have like a short attention spam and if I start listening to something that goes on like for more than five minutes, I, uh, I don't know. Okay. I, I just can't. What I do every day, however, I watch videos on YouTube every day of my life. Okay. And, and, and that helps me a lot with my listening skills. Okay. So, uh, good practice right there. Okay. So, uh, Rufino, then Nadia and then Ana Filomena. Okay. Uh, number eight, Rufino. Number eight, uh, letter G. Spyware. Oh, can you? Secretly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Spyware. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you read the definition, please? Uh, software that secretly, 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 rec secretly records your online activity. Yeah, you have a uh, software that secretly records your online activity. Okay, yeah, that's spyware. That's literally viruses that are spying on your activity. Okay, some some people say that. I don't know if it's true. Okay, but a lot of people say it is true that that people can be spying on you even via your 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 webcam. Some some people cover their webcams completely. Okay, because they're afraid some third party might be spying on them. Maybe it's true. Okay. I, I don't cover mine because I use it every day for a class. So. <laughs> anyway, so um, what about the next one, Nadia, and then Ana Filomena? Uh, number nine, instant yes. messenger. Uh, it is a letter E. Short the messages that are faster than email. Yeah, that's short messages that are faster than email, instant messaging. Okay, well, Pretty much everybody uses WhatsApp these days or some other services like Telegram and I don't know what else. But like 20 years ago, for those who remember, <laughs> uh, it was more like, um, do you remember the, this, this very famous program that was installed on every computer with an internet connection, the Messenger? Right, the Messenger was like, I, I don't know. And, and Hi-Fi. And and they use hi-fi. Although hi-fi was more like, uh, it was like uh, back back then was like the equivalent to Facebook now. Okay, but yeah, it, it also offers some sort of instant messaging service. But what I mean is is the it was like the 
I don't remember the full name of it, but it was the messenger. And uh, a lot of people went to, you know, internet cafes just to chat, just like that. Okay, they, they went to internet cafes just to chat with someone else. It was new, it was kind of revolutionary back then and, and everybody wanted to do it. I did it a lot, okay? And now that I think about it, it sounds like kind of boring. But uh, you don't need to do this anymore because now you have WhatsApp and most people get connected via WhatsApp web also and, and it's pretty much the same, okay? You can do it from your phone, you can do it from your keyboard and that's it. That's instant messaging for you. And of course it exists in a lot of platforms, even right now, okay? We, we, we can use instant messaging on Zoom, right? You just wanna express something in, uh, not by talking, but by writing it, typing it. Uh, you can do it, you can send me a message and you can send a message to everybody in the group and there it is, okay? Just, I got some right now. Um, uh, Francisco, for example, is, is, is he has some problem right now. I uh, cannot really connect. Well, he's connected, okay. Uh, Miss Romero is, is recommending a podcast. For, so that's an example of instant messaging right there. Okay, check it out, okay. You might like it uh, on purpose, podcast. Okay, so uh, the last one, I believe it was Ana Filomena. Really easy. <laughs> There's uh, only one yeah, missing. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> computer virus. <laughs> computer virus. Harmful software that attacks computers. It's harmful software that attacks computers. Yeah, that's right. Okay, letter D. Harmful software that attacks computers. Have you ever been victims of, of computer viruses? Many times. <laughs> Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. It happens a lot. It happens a mm. lot. So, yeah, this is why a, a good, you know, uh, antivirus software is, is important. Okay. Some people say that you have to combine your antivirus software with a, what is the name of this other thing? It's a, um, a good firewall, to, you know, usually uh, operating no, systems. Uh -huh. Not 32. Ah, yeah, okay, I'm familiar with that one, but I stopped using it a long time ago. Mm, uh, yes. But 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 yeah, I'm familiar with it. I, I, I used to use it like 12 years ago, something like that, yeah. now 32. Then I started using, uh, there was a Chinese one, yeah. which was like uh, 360 antivirus, antivirus, which was pretty useful. And now mm. I, I, I've given up on antiviruses and I pretty much use, you know, Windows Defender. That's yes. what I use. Okay, I mean this is not the best antivirus out there. Uh, I understand, but at least it works well with the operating system, and that's a big advantage. Okay, it doesn't really slow things down. Okay, so uh, that's something I appreciate about my computer that it runs fast. Okay, I really don't like it when the computer gets sluggish, and and you want to do things and you just can't. Especially when you're a teacher, you have to be, uh, you know, for example, you're using the program in this case zoom and at the same time you're uh sharing the screen at the same time you have to be controlling the the, the powerpoint presentation at the same time you have to be uh, online i have to be checking the attendance list and some other stuff so it's several things that have to be open at the same time and if your uh, antivirus software uh is is working like really hard in the background it makes everything slow and that's something that i really don't like so this is why i decided to stay with you know the antivirus that pretty much comes with the system so so far, I haven't had much of trouble with, with viruses, okay? But anyway, I don't like to take chances. If I, if my, for example, if I'm uh, surfing on the web and, 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 and I get to a website and then the browser tells me like, hey, this website might be potentially dangerous. I say like, okay, I hear you and I go back. Okay, I, I'm, I'm I never risk it. So why take chances? Anyway, so, uh, we have this. Those are technology buzzwords. Again, you have download, chat room, hotspot, blog, freeware, webcam, podcast, spyware, instant messaging, computer virus. Okay, all of these words that are used uh, nowadays and that everybody should be familiar with by now. Um, before we continue, do you have any questions about uh, vocabulary here? Anything that uh, is not clear? No. Nope. No questions. Uh, Nadia? Yes, teacher, I have a question about 
What is the meaning harmful? Harmful. Harmful is something that is something that can harm you or can harm your equipment in this case. Something that is harm you can damage. That's the meaning of harmful. Um, uh, for example, um, I mean, you know, uh, it could, I mean, you can use it like in this context or, you know, in, in, in health also. Chemicals, okay, can be harmful to you if you inhale chemicals, okay, okay, they can damage your body, okay, so it's harmful. Uh, sugar, sugar in high quantities, pretty much all added sugar is harmful to your body, so that's that's the thing. It can damage damage you, or in this case, damage your computer, okay? So harmful software that attacks computer is software that is dangerous and can damage your computer and your equipment. Any other questions about the vocabulary? No more questions? That's it? Okay, then. Well, uh, ah, before we continue, just let me call some of the names. Francisco Alberto, are you here? Francisco Alberto, yes, there he is. Okay, it is Regina Hernandez Cuellar. It's here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Nadia Isolina, yes. Nadia is here. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Ernesto Ramirez Quijano. Ricardo Ernesto Ramirez Quijano. I am here, teacher. I am here. Okay, okay. Copy that. <laughs> Very good. I get it. Thank, Thank you. Teacher. I have a problem. Really, I have a problem with my internet because it's 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 it was raining in it's raining in my house. I don't know. Oh my god! I mean, it's raining in your house. Like there are leaks or something. <laughs> Water falling inside. I don't know. In the in you the, mean the in the region? The, yeah, all time. It's affecting yeah, your, your, your I changed the, the cell phone and changed the, my internet. Yeah, teacher. I'm sorry. To I hear was that. I was reading really, really, but I can I can listen my my class. Okay. No, no, no good. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I hope. Uh, yeah, it's been raining a lot these days. Not these days, but it started yesterday or the day before yesterday. It's been raining a lot. Is it? And 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 it definitely affects you know internet. Uh, connectivity. So um, I I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Anyway, uh, remember that even if, uh, for example, you have trouble connecting, uh, there's always a class that you can watch later on from your uh, YouTube list. Um, just a chat entry right here. Okay. Okay. By Anna Filomena. <laughs> okay. Now everybody is, is here. Okay. So that's great. What time is it? 8:53. We don't have much time, so let's let's hurry. So what are we going to do here? This is the lesson objective, okay? By the end of this class, participants will learn, practice, and use passive of the present continuous, present perfect, and the future, okay? More chat entries here. Francisco Alberto says, you haven't mentioned me. Oh, yes, I have. I just did a moment ago. You didn't hear me. Francisco Alberto, your attendance has been taken. Okay, teacher, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay. I am sorry. I am probably it's fine. Don't my, worry. My don't internet. Worry. It's fine. Don't worry. I understand. But yeah, uh, everybody's present, which is great. Okay. All right. So that's a 3.2 lesson objective. Let's take a good look at this. We're pretty much just going to go over the general aspects of it because um, we have less than 10 minutes. So, uh, I mean, we need more time for this. But at least we're going to start today. Passive of present continuous, uh, present perfect, and future. Take a good look. Now, you use these passive tenses for actions where the emphasis is on the object of the action, okay? So use the passive of the present continuous for ongoing actions, okay? So what happens if you say, I'm going to delete this, and uh, we have the sentence. Um, you say, they are offering an increasing number of degrees online. Okay, so you have a sentence right here, but this is a sentence in active voice. They are offering an increasing number of degrees online. How does it work? The active voice goes like this. There's a the subject, okay? Then you have our offering, okay? Which is pretty much the verb, okay, verb. And this is present, whoops, 
I have a new keyboard. I have to get used to it. Present, let's say present continuous, okay. Okay, that's present continuous. And then there is the object. And, and, and how do you find the object? Finding the object is actually not complicated. To find an object in a sentence, you just have to ask yourself the question, what? They are offering, after the verb, you ask the question, what? They're offering what? The answer is an increasing number of degrees. Online, you can also say. Okay, so pretty much all of this is, well, it's an increasing number of degrees, actually. Online is, is, is a circumstantial expression. All of this is the object, okay? Again, how do you find the object? It's pretty easy. You just have to find the verb, and after the verb, you have to ask yourself the question, what? So they are offering what? The answer is an increasing number of degrees. Okay, that's the object. Once you find the object, you can start, you can, you know, uh, make a sentence in the passive voice, all right? So how does it work? You have to take the object from uh, the active sentence and you put it at the beginning. So what do you have? You have an, in an increasing number of degrees, okay? And then you have to use the verb be. But what about the verb be? The verb be has to be conjugated in the same verb tense that you identified in the tense and in the verb in the active sentence. And what did we find? It was present continuous. So that means the verb be should be conjugated in present continuous. R B being. R being. That's that's the verb be in present okay. continuous. R being. And after that, okay, you have to use the main verb in past participle. And the past participle you have here are offering, so this is the main verb. But this is not a past participle form. The past participle is offered. That's the idea. An increasing number of degrees are being offered online. Then you have, there you go. You have your sentence in passive voice, all right? An increasing number of degrees is, uh, are being offered online. So yeah, that's that's how it works. Again, take a look. You have the subject, which is they in this case. Then you have our offering. That's the verb. The verb is in present continuous. It's absolutely essential for you to identify the verb tense in the active sentence if you want to successfully, you know, convert the sentence into the passive form. Uh, after that, you have to find the object, and then remember, you find the object by asking the question, "What they are offering? What the answer is? An increasing number of degrees. That's the object." Okay, and then you have online. So again, you take the object from the active sentence, you put it at the beginning and you have an increasing number of degrees. And after that is the magic formula. You have to use the verb B. This is the verb B right here. And then you have to use the verb in past participle. Okay, the main verb in past participle. So again, you use the verb be in the same verb tense that you identified in the active sentence, which is present continuous. If it is past simple, you have to use it in past simple. If it is present perfect, you have to use it in present perfect, and so on. So uh, are being. And after that, the main verb, but in past participle form, offered. An increasing number of degrees are being offered online. OK? So that's how you do it. Um, you use the passive of the present continuous for ongoing actions. Now, you use the passive of the present perfect for recently completed actions. Okay, recently completed actions. More music has been downloaded this year than ever before. Okay, so this is an action in the past that pretty much has an impact in the present. If you remember, we studied this in the previous section, section number two, present perfect. So it works the same in the passive voice. It's the same tense. It's just expressed in a different way. Um, one thing, I'm, I'm just probably going to give this to you here. We have, if it is uh, present continuous passive, then you have to use uh, I'm being, is being, or are being, Need more space. Plus, the very uh, what's going on? Okay, 
me a second. Why is it not working? Past participle. Okay. If it is the present perfect passive, then you have to use, you can't get used to this keyboard. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's terrible. Have been or has been, okay? When the subject is he, she, or it. And after that, you have to use again, the main verb in past participle. Okay? So that's the idea, right? Fit is present continuous and being, if, if if you are the object, okay, of the original sentence, is being, okay, are being, and then the main verb in past participle is present perfect, you have to use have been or has been, okay, for he, she, it, plus the past participle. Of course, you have to remember that you can also use the negative forms. It could be like is and being, okay, or aren't being. Also, you can use the negative form in present perfect, haven't been, hasn't been. And finally, we have this, you use will plus the passive of, uh, uh, or be going to plus passive for actions that will begin in the future. More computers will be infected by viruses and more healthcare sites are going to be used by people from home. How does that work? Okay, if you have a model, like in this case, will plus verb goes like this. Okay. Basically, you just say, will be, always, okay, just like that, and then the main verb in past participle. If it's negative, you say, won't be. And if you're talking about the future with the verb be, well, you have a be going to plus the verb goes like this. You have a am, sorry, am, is, or are going to plus, sorry, plus the verb be, okay, plus be all the time be, just like that, plus the main verb in past participle. That's pretty much the formula that you're going to be using for this structure that we're studying here. I'm going to send this to you via WhatsApp so you can have it. And I believe it's time, so. Um, okay, here we go. can have it right there. Okay, tomorrow we're going to uh, review this, okay, and, and there are some exercises that we're going to be solving, which is 3.4. Today someone was asking about exercise 3.5, we're going to solve it too, tomorrow, and um, we're, there's a lot to study. So everybody, um, um, attendance has been taken, I believe, yeah, everybody's here. Just one more thing, uh, I'm sorry, um, the platform. Okay, remember, okay, work on the platform. Okay, uh, I have been informed that some of you have not completed all the sections in the platform. So uh, if, if there's anything that you haven't done, you still have time, please go back and complete those actions, those homework assignments, any exercises or videos that you haven't watched, please go back and complete them because they all count for your final grade. Okay, now everybody, uh, thank you very much. Okay, and I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good bye night. Bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye. Bye. Bye, bye.